Welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, we would be simulating position clamping circuit using KiCad tool. Before going into this tutorial, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below. In the procession clamping circuit, the op-amp is required to function as an ideal diode. So for this circuit design, you can refer to the calculation which has been done. Let us start the design and simulation of procession clamping circuit. So now place the cursor on the schematic window and from the library select LM741 and place this on the schematic window. Right click on the op-amp and select edit property, define the reference as U1, select the model LM741 from the model or the model file and select the alternate node sequence and define this as 3, 2, 7, 4, 6 and click OK and place this on the schematic window. Select the aspect as mirror around X axis. Now we have to place the diode in this particular circuit. So click the cursor on the schematic window and from the library type P spice and select the diode symbol. Place this particular diode symbol in the schematic window. We have to place an, an, an another diode. So click on diode and place this particular diode in the schematic window. Right click on the diode, select edit property, define the reference as T1 and click on edit spice model. Now we have to select the model file for this particular diode. So select the model file and we will select the 1N4148 diode. Click on alternate sequence node and type 2 and 1. Define the value of diode as 1N4148 and click the orientation as plus 90. Now we have to similarly define the model for our second diode. So define the reference as D2 and we have to select the model file for 1N4148 diode and select the alternate node sequence as 2, 1. Click OK and define the orientation as plus 180. Now we have to place the resistor and the capacitor symbol. So type P spice and select the resistor symbol. Now place this particular resistor symbol on the schematic window. Now click on edit property, define the reference as R1 and define the value of resistor as 22K and define the orientation as plus 90 and click OK. Now we also have to place a resistor near the positive terminal of the op-amp. So define the reference value as R2 and the value as 22 kilo ohm. Next we have to place the capacitor symbol. So place this particular capacitor symbol on the schematic window. Now right click on the capacitor and define edit properties. Define the reference as C1. Define the value of capacitor as 0.5 microfarad and select the orientation as plus 90. Now we have to place the voltage source for our design purpose. So from the filter type P spice and we have to select the V source. 
So we require three different voltage source for the summation purpose. One for the input signal and the other two voltage source uh, which would be the source for the op amp. So place three different voltage source as shown in this tutorial. Now we have to place the ground connection for this particular voltage source. So select the ground and place the ground connection for three different voltage source. Now click on place global label and place the label V1 on the schematic window. Place the global label VCC and place the global label VEE on the schematic window. We also have to place the global label across the pin number 4 of OPAM and the pin number 7 of the OPAM accordingly. Connect the global label V1 to the positive terminal of the voltage source and the negative terminal to ground. Similarly, connect the global label VCC to the positive terminal of the voltage source and the negative terminal to the ground V to the positive terminal of voltage source and the negative terminal to the ground connect the label V1 to the capacitor C1 and the terminal 3 of op-amp is connected to the resistor R2 and from the resistor R2 to the ground connect the output of op-amp to the diode D2 and from the diode D1 to the diode terminal D2 and from the terminal 2 of diode D1 to the terminal 2 of op-amp connect the VCC to pin number 7 V to pin number 4 and connect the diode 2 terminal 1 to the resistor R1 and from R1 connect this to the diode and the op-amp 2 terminal and connect the capacitor C1 to the diode 2 terminal 1 and the R1 resistor. Now we have to place a graphic text for the simulation purpose which can be a transient or a DC analysis so type the following text that is dot tran 5 nano and 30 nano and place this on the schematic window right click on the voltage source and define edit properties Define the reference as VCC, define the value as 0, click on edit spice model, define the DC value as 15 volt and click OK. Now right click on the second voltage source, click on edit property, define the V reference as VEE, value as 0, click on edit spice model, define the DC value as minus 15 volt and click OK. Now right click on the third voltage source define the reference as V1 value as 0 click on edit spice model define the transient analysis as pulse define the initial value as minus 5 volt pulsed value as 5 volt define the delay time as 0 second rise time as 10 picosecond 
and uh, fall time as 10 picosecond pulse width as 1 nano and period as 2 nanoseconds and click OK now click on tools select simulator click on run and stop simulation now place the probe on the input and the output of this particular circuit now we can see the transient analysis for this particular circuit simulation now when you close now when you place the probe on the diode terminal d1 you can see the transient analysis of the precession clamping circuit thank you for watching this tutorial i hope this has helped your learning purpose I request you to like share and subscribe my channel below